Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So today the trading post was released and it's a fairly interesting update um, and what I'm going to do in this video is just go over some uh, positives and neg negatives of it, how it actually works and uh, what we may be seeing for it in the future. So starting off looking at the trading post there are three main options that you're going to be using search, sell, and item sets. Um, item sets is pretty cool. There's very limited item sets right now but you can get dwarf cannon sets, green dragon hide sets, and all of the um, Barrow's armor sets, which is pretty cool, so you can turn those into sets and sell them as an entire set, which makes it pretty convenient. And then there's search and sell, and you'll notice that there's no buy, which is interesting. Um, so right now I was just checking on the price of sharks, um, and you, if you uh, want to search an item, you just type it in, click search item, type it in, so let's check on gold ore, and it'll come up right here if you type in correctly. So it's very similar to the Grand Exchange in that respect, and you'll be able to see them in ascending order of price. Um, and you can also see the amount that's being sold, which I really like. I think one of the biggest advantages to this is that you can see you can see proof that the person actually has these items, and you can see the exact amount, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can search items, and then you can check on the prices. You see, you can um, set to ascending or descending order of price. You can set it so that it only shows your current world, I believe it would be, um, and you can also have it to find cheapest or set that to off, and. Um, you can see the username of the seller and you can see how long it's been on you can see what world the player is on and if you right click on this you can add their add them to your friends list add them to your ignore list and if somebody's on your ignore list you won't see their trading offers in the trading post and you can also join their friends chat channel by clicking this um, in case they happen to be selling from their friends chat channel um, which is pretty cool um, and then you can click refresh and you'll see any new offers that may have come up doesn't look like anything has come up since I last uh, or maybe it, it looks like those uh, there was one or two new offers there, which is interesting. And then you, you also have the option if you can click sell items from here, or you can go right click and click sell. And then you can choose to any of your six empty slots and choose an item in your inventory. Offer the sharks, you can choose how many you want to offer. So I, if I right click and do offer all, then I can sell 5,000 sharks. I want to sell them for 1,100 GP each. Um, so that will be a total of 5.5 million coins. And I click confirm. And there it is, it's up on the trading post right now. So if I go over to search uh, sharks, I should be able to see my offer right there. So let's see 5,000 sharks um, sold by Aubrey for 1,100 GP each. Um, and you'll notice it's way down here because all of the offers that are the same um, price, I believe, are sorted by their age. So newest ones go down at the bottom, I believe. Um, which is sort of interesting, I don't know, it seems like it would more, make more sense to go the other way around. But that's basically how it works, and that is the trading post in a nutshell. I think I'm going to take down that offer because I have uh, my, I don't have my private on, so um, if we go back to sell items, I should be able to just cancel this offer and get my sharks back. So, um, that's how it works, and once you actually get an offer, um, and you actually have somebody private message you saying, hey, I want to buy some sharks, they'll they'll come to you, your sharks will still be in the trading post, but they'll come up on the trading screen on your left side and you'll be able to offer from a special menu on your trade screen that is the items that you have in the trading post and they'll be able to see when they're trading with you what items you have in the trading post um, which is also pretty cool and they demonstrated that, uh, that JMoz demonstrated that in a video that they made I believe they showed it on live stream as well so um, that being said that's how it works and what I want to talk about is some of my own opinions about it um, what I think could be improved and what I like about it. So first things first, um, they had to deliver this according to what people voted. So if we scroll back down into the history of the polls, if we go over to the Old School Future poll number 20 on the 20th of May, it's about the trading solution, and this is the poll that decided what people were going to see out of the trading solution. So first of all, just the trading solution itself did pass. Um, and offers will appear only when the seller is online, that's important to keep in mind. Um, offline trading did not pass, um, off, obviously for six hours did not pass. Um, trading, po trading items through the trading post did not pass, so that's why we don't see that. Um, and lots of people are criticizing it, saying that it is basically just an in-game Zybes but not as good, or Zybes. Um, kind of true, but it's because of what people voted, basically. Um, my main criticism of it is that you can't post buy offers. And I think that's a really big issue with it. 
because it basically means that it's not really a um, useful way for people to conduct trades because when you can't see buy offers you don't see the actual the full extent of the the trading spectrum you know if you if you go over to Zybez and you check on the price of sharks you're going to see buy buy offers you're going to see sell offers and you're going to see a, a much more sensible interface really um, so that being said yeah I'd, I'd definitely say that the trading post does need some improvements but with the release and with the actual post of the release they specifically stated um, I'll read it off to you guys directly now that Sierra will presently be pulling additional features as expansions to it, we'd be happy to offer big changes such as expanding it into a fully featured grain exchange like RS3 has, if it looks like there's enough support for that. Alternatively, we could make more conservative changes such as letting players send trade requests through the post so you could use the old school trade screens without having to meet up. We're sure you've got design ideas of your own too and we'd love to hear them. I would love to see the um, just being able to open the trading interface through the trading post and not have to go to the player. That would be awesome. I hadn't really thought of it exactly. I was just hoping you'd be able to use the trading post to complete offers through it, but basically that you'd be able to see who you're trading with and choose who you're trading with specifically. I think that would be the best way to keep the old school feel but still fit, like facilitate trading and actually make it a useful update, really. Um, because at the moment, I would still prefer to use Zybez because I can post buy offers and sell offers. I can see a lot more offers, and I can post um, my own personal message with the offers, and I can post... Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I find makes Zybus better. But this being said, this does have a lot of really cool stuff. First, being able to see the exact items and how many people have to prove that they actually have it. Um, being able to just right-click add them right there is pretty nice. Um, and I just think that in general they did a really great job designing the interface. It looks really awesome, so props to ModAsh for that. But I do think that it could definitely use some updates and some work. Um, so. That's sort of my opinions as far as the trading post, but I do think that it will be pulled to um, make it so that you could complete trades through the trading post, and I definitely think that will be that will pass. Um, if we look back at the old thing at the old uh, poll, it was 71.6%, so it was 3.4% uh, off of passing. So it's fairly likely that once, like, since people have actually seen the trading post and seen its limitations, they probably will be voting for that. Um, but that won't be pulled until. Uh, next year, like the very beginning of next year. So we'll, we'll be able to use this for about a month and see exactly how how it works and how we like it, and then we'll be getting polls for improvements to it. So overall, I think it's decent, and I don't think it's that useful at this point, but I will still be trying it out. And Like if I'm actually going to be actively buying and selling items, which I will definitely will be uh, within the next month, I will be probably staying at Varag West, using the trading post, and using Zybez, because that would just make my options as... as many as possible. Um, so that's my general plan. But I, what I would love to see is where you know you send you set a post at the trading post and then you head over to the bank, you're standing at the bank, you're doing your scaling, and then you see in your chat box somebody wishes to trade with you. Um, you accept the trade and an interface opens up remotely. They might be at Nate is not on an entirely different world, but you can still open a trading screen with them, offer the items and have them offer the cash or vice versa. And I think that would be the best system and I think that would work really well. You could see who you're trading with, you could decide how it works, and they should they would definitely need to add a chat system that would go between like it would come up in your trade chat and stuff, so you could be able to talk to the person while the trade interface is open. Um, and also I think it would be really important to add buy offers. That's one thing I don't really understand is why there aren't buy offers, but um, hopefully we'll be able to see that in the poll. So, pretty cool update overall. Um, it's, it's looking pretty good. It definitely needs some work, um, but that's my general consensus on it. Definitely check it out and see how it works for you, and definitely leave some comments below with your opinions on it and how you, your experience has been with it so far. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon with more videos.